Okay, this is physics part three. It's density question number six. If you've just randomly happened upon this video on YouTube, Facebook, or Google, it makes much more sense to watch the videos in the order they're intended to be watched in along with the study notes. You can find that at goprocaribbean.com. Main navigational menu has dive theory. Watch them in order. Dive physics one and so on and so forth. This one is example six from dive physics three. So this appears at first glance to be a density question, but when the answers appear, we realize that all the answers are asking for something in terms of pressure. Well, so it's not strictly a density question, but density and pro pressure are directly proportional. So the same one, two, three approach is going to work to help us answer them. Let's look at the question. And we see that it's quite a long-winded question. The density of the air a diver breathes changes with pressure. Yeah, I already knew that. That's probably not that important to me then. A diver ascends from a depth of 20 meters to the surface. How does the pressure at the surface compare to 20 meters? Still feeling a little bit confused by the words. Let's just focus on the final sentence. How does the pressure at the surface compare to a depth of 20 meters? That's what the question's really asking me about. That first statement that I already knew is totally irrelevant. The second statement is setting the scene, but it's not really that important to me. So let's just cross them out and focus on the final sentence, the actual question. What we know on these density pressure questions is we focus first on the pressure they are at. In this question, where are they at? They are at the surface. What is the pressure at the surface? The pressure is one atmosphere. Now we're on step two. Step two with density or pressure questions. If there are no bar, PSI, minutes, volumes, anything like that involved, then we know it's a simple density pressure question and simple density pressure questions are answered with the division symbol. So we're gonna enter in the division symbol. Now, what we need to do is see what depth are they comparing the surface to? In the question, it's 20 meters. What's the pressure at 20 meters? It's three atmospheres. So now the question is, what is three as a proportion to one? Well, one divided by three is 0 0.333. That's what we got written on our paper. Let's look at our answers. It's not an answer. Is one divided by three or one third an answer? No, it's not. So don't panic. Stop, breathe, think. Is the pressure at the surface going to be more or less than it is at 20 meters? It's going to be less. That means it's either answer A or answer C. How many times less is it going to be? Well, we've got a lot of threes on our bit of paper, so it's probably guiding us towards answer C, which is the correct answer. How many times less is one than three three times less. So don't forget, there's lots more quizzes, practice questions, instructional videos, and notes at my website. Like my page, GoPro Caribbean. And if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, you will be informed of when I release new videos and new content.